This is the first in a series of short videos on the best practices for using Yearbook Avenue to create your yearbook pages. These are the initial kind of basic steps that you would take. So from the home screen, you would go to the Create tab at the top and click on Page Designer. The Page Designer is where you will create all of your pages. For most staff members, this is where they will spend the majority of their time. And the best way to really work through learning the page designer is to learn the tabs over on the far right hand side. Students will have five tabs and advisors will have six. Pages, designs, images, format, and flow are available for all students. Advisors will have a new tab, a sixth tab, called the History tab. That History tab advisors is just to help you locate prior versions of a page that have been saved that you can use to place back on pages if you ever have to go back to a previous version of a page. Each of the tabs helps you do something different. The Pages tab is going to help you quickly and easily navigate to the page that you're assigned to work on. So if a student is told to work on a page, they would click on the Pages tab. They would come to the thumbnail view of each of the pages in the column to the left of the tabs. They would click on the page and then it will open those pages, in this case page 138 and 139, in their work window of the page designer. The next step, step to get started on their page is to place a template. You click on the design tab and the drop down to the left of the design tab has this long list of options. Now there are lots of different options for page templates. You have themed package templates, you have modular templates, and you have page surfer templates. You also can create custom templates which are cases where you take one of our templates as a starting point and you make changes to it and then you save it and those will be found under custom in my templates. Just want to show you an example for now so I'm going to come down to page surfer I'm going to go to a category called mix and match and then as you can see these are all just different page layout options. There are thousands of these mixed throughout the various categories. The key point though is everything is click, drag, and drop. I'll have another video later on some more of the details of how you can use the design tab. But for now in this basic video, I just want you to know the design tab is where you go to get templates to start your page. The images tab is where you will go to place your pictures onto your page. If you have not yet watched the video on managing your image library, you want to go back and watch that first. The image library is where you go to upload and organize all of your pictures. And then once your pictures are uploaded and organized into folders, then when you come in to create your page here in the page designer, you would simply click on the images tab, which really is just a window into that image library choose the folder that you've set up with your pictures and then everything here is click drag and drop you do have a couple of indicators that are really important if you have this little book symbol that is highlighted green that means that it, that image has already been placed on a page a tip that I'll give you to use is go ahead and click on this little option here that says unused that will filter out anything that's already been placed on a page and leave you only those that have not. Click drag and drop and you have your images placed on your page. And then the last button I want to talk about in this video, which is just the basics again, is the format tab. And in the format tab is where you will custom format whatever it is you have selected. This list of options will change based on what you have selected. So if I have a photo selected, it's going to tell me all of the things I can do to custom format or add special effects to that photo. But if I click off of that photo, it's going to tell me all of the things that I can do to custom format and add special effects to the type of box that I've selected, which in this case is text. That would be the same for shapes, like if I were to click on this shape here. So again, formatting and special effects options for what I can do to whatever it is I have selected. There will be another video later on some of the very specifics of the formatting options, but again, that's just the basics. 
So for this video, I want you to know that the Pages tab is how you quickly and easily navigate to the page that you've been assigned to work on by clicking on it from that Pages tab. The Design tab gets you a template to get started on your page. The Images tab helps you get pictures on your page after you've uploaded and organized those into your image library. And the Format tab helps you custom format whatever it is you have selected, whether it's a photo, a text, or a shape. So that's kind of Yearbook Avenue 101, how to navigate and quickly understand the basic buttons. The Flow tab strictly deals with flowing your portrait pages. There's a separate video on that as well. And again, I'm going to have some follow-up videos on the Design tab specifically for templates and the Format tab. So make sure you catch those as well.